Hi there, you are going to join me at my favorite Goodwill. I do go to this Goodwill often because I always go to it whenever I am on my way home from the post office. And I go to the post office at least three times, if not more, a week. On the end cap, they had a whole bunch of stuff. And what really grabbed my attention was this plastic plaque. But then I was, I, looked, I said, look at this coffee mug. This coffee mug to me, I thought looked like it was Mara Mexico is usually the marking that you usually see on them. I've sold a platter and another mug, and this has a sun on it. And when I did my research, this style of the sun, I didn't really see too many of them. I saw the suns that are more personalized, but it was in good shape. And then this is marked 1954. And with my research, I saw that it was originally sold with two other flower designs, which would have been really pretty, but they just had the rose design. There was a nice wooden salad set. It has four smaller bowls. And this one is it feels really good to the touch because I've picked these up before and they're usually sticky and it's hard to clean the wood. So those were in really good shape. A little bit of surface wear. And this was most likely made in India, an inlaid marble or natural stone trinket box. And what really grabbed my attention about it is the color because the color is kind of a purpley brown. And usually you see them in white or gray or pink. That dark color I thought was very unusual. On the top shelf in the white section was this hen on nest. And you could see that the tape was already peeled back by somebody else who did a little investigating. So I was expecting to see a big chip or crack and I can't find one. And I like how on the tips of the nest, the blue milk, it gives a blue tinge to the milk glass. So I believe it is on the older side and has a nice little painted face. So I decided to take that with me. They have a lot of Easter stuff out, which is kind of strange because we're getting into October here. But for some reason, they have a lot of Easter. Those were resin rabbits. And on the other end cap, they had these Lennox USA. And they're two little trinket dishes with birds on them. And because the Lennox is marked USA, I know that they are older pieces. And I thought they would make nice little trinket dishes for somebody. And this cutie pie, this little unicorn, and it was a miracle it wasn't broken off. And then Jenny and Jimmy came to find me. They were doing some errands in the little shopping area. So they joined me on the rest of my shopping trip here. As you can see, we are in the brown section. Little figurine, I think it was a metal figurine that looked like a little nut guy playing the flute. This I thought was different. You could tell it was older because of the graphics on it. This was a weekly calendar that they had on the end. It was from Hershey's. And then I thought this was interesting. This was cute. And raccoons aren't so popular nowadays. I think it's mostly squirrels and owls. Here are some recent solds from Worth Point. If I had 10 of them, they sold for good money. But for the most part, 19 to 12 to 10. There's three for 30. It seems that they sell better if you have more than one. And if you have it in the box, that sells higher. So it's something to keep in mind. They are cute. But I left it there. These blue and white plates, I keep thinking that they are ceramic. They're not. They're plastic. And they get me every time. <laughs> They've been here at the Goodwill for a little bit. And every time I'm like, oh, look at these cute porcelain plates, but they're not, they're plastic. Here is a whole set of nesting bowls. They were marked with a sticker made in China. So I left those there. And I think that was a little soap dish. It was cute, but left it. And then this was new in the package. So I always like to see what things are when they're new in the package. And at first I thought this was a cover for your stove, but I think in fact, it was a mouse pad. And here I am taking a step back so you can also look at the shelves and see anything real quick, <laughs> real quick look. There was this giant, giant glass bottle, but it had a lot of scratching on it. And it was probably a more contemporary piece. I don't, I don't feel it was older piece. And then these caught my attention because they were Marie Osmond. And I know that the Marie Osmond dolls can sell well. And these were cute little Mother's Day cards and there were two of them and they had dolls inside but I did look these up and they they surprisingly didn't sell well because um, Marie Osmond dolls I think are really nicely 
made, but maybe they were oversold, thus making the market not very desirable for them. Here are some recent solds for the Mother's Day cards, greeting cards. You can see that it's just not very much money, even when they have a whole grouping. So even though I thought they were very sweet, I did leave them on the shelf. I wanted to see what the most expensive doll that Marie Osmond sold, a Marie Osmond doll had sold for recently on Worth Point. So here are those two listings. And then here I found some more dolls that were designed by her that have recently sold in the past few years. All right, back to the shelves. I was so disappointed when I picked this up and saw that it was chipped right there. It had a repair to it. And Jimmy said, well, why don't you still get it? It had a hair crack, sorry, it wasn't a repair. And because I didn't want to ship it in that crack to get bigger. So I put it up higher for someone else to see that just needed it for themselves. And I was a little disappointed though. This was really pretty, a really pretty lamp. That's why I'm showing it to you. That it was a nice little size lamp. And then I went back to looking in the bins. Jenny was helping me look through the books, seeing if there was any books that she was interested in. And like I've said before, I don't like to dig down too deep in the bins. Um, but I'd like to see if there's any treasures I can kind of sneak out of there. This was a really nice bowl, display bowl. It was a fish. But the more I thought about packing that and shipping that, it made me a little nervous. So I left that in the cart. They had some other items that looked like they were more my style. They had these decorative plates, but I wasn't too interested in those. And they had some little figurines. But they were clown figurines and a football planter. I thought, oh, but then when I turned it over, it was $5, and I thought that was a little bit pricey. So I left that on the in the cart, not on the shelf. <laughs> it would soon be on the shelf. This was in the Christmas section. This was a neat mid-century modern-looking cat. It was made to look like wood. I believe it was resin, but there was some surface wear to it, and I just wasn't feeling it, but I was feeling this. Look at this. These bottles are made in Japan, but <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out that they were made in Japan. They were marked made in Japan. I've sold just the bottles themselves before. They really had them taped to the holder. <laughs> I, was, I was a little surprised. So I sped up the footage here because I, it took me a while to get it out. I really wanted to see that it said made in Japan and not made in China. And then I, once I finally got it out, I thought, this is super cute. So I took the camera back from Jimmy and kept looking on the Christmas section, seeing if there was any vintage Christmas. I did see this Christmas tree that had been hand crocheted. Now, there was an insert in it that had seen better days, but it does work. I just stuffed some tissue paper in it, and it stands up beautifully. I thought someone would really, really like that, and they, some, whoever made it did a really nice job. And then, look, I won. Look at that. Jimmy and Jenny weren't even paying attention. <laughs> this was a fancy praying hands light because it had a cord in the back that looked like you had plugged it in. And then Jenny, she saw it the next time we went in there and she tried to get the points. I said, no, no, no. We already knew that was there. This, I thought when I picked it up, it was the potter from Wisconsin. And sure enough, it turns out it was made by him through Gantz. I thought that was a nice... Uh, little plaque and then I thought this golf I'd rather be golfing vintage glass was neat too has a lady on one side and a man on the other and this is going to wrap up our trip to Goodwill here are the things that I bought on this trip and then coming up will be another trip to Goodwill I would like to remind you of a meet and greet that Jocelyn and I are having that is sponsored by Burning Bridge Antiques in Columbia Pennsylvania later this month on Friday, September 30th from 12 to 4. The information on the meet and greet is in the description of this video. We are going to go to the Goodwill again after I show you all my little treasures I found here. Jimmy found that ornament. I didn't film it. I forgot to, but that was his pick. Here are the other items. See that how that box, it looks purple and then sometimes it looks brown. It's a, the neatest treasure trinket box. 
And we are going to make our way now again to the same Goodwill, but a different day. And Jenny is along with me. I really like these. They have a lot of wear to the black lacquer paint. I believe that they were made in Mexico. I could be completely wrong, but that's my guess. They did suffer a little damage when I took the sticker off on the backs of them. The paint came off on both of them. But the image itself is in really great shape. And I really like the colors that they use. And a, a nice little bohemian look to them. I really like them, even if they do have some wear to the lacquer paint. This I've shown before in the box. This one was not in the box. These were usually sold with birthday candles that came out of the top. And then Jenny turned around and she's like, look, mama, look how cute this is. I said, that is cute. This is made by Mud Pie. It's a ballerina coin bank. It's missing its plug, but I still thought it was super cute. And so we decided to put that in the cart. I did some further investigating in the white section. This mug we both thought was very interesting. The handle on it. It reminded me of brass knuckles and it had an eagle on it. I thought that was interesting, but there was a chip there on the top. And I really like this mug too. I think those were partridges or quail. And I'm looking, seeing what that is. Yeah. Okay. So underneath the plastic ornaments was this trivet and the dollar horse is what grabbed my attention. And it, it seemed to have a prayer in Norwegian or Swedish on it. And I couldn't really figure it out. Oh, it's Swedish. Um, it had a lot of surface wear to it, but I did decide to leave that there even though it had dollar horses on it. There's the mug. You can see the chip. See, I gave a little close-up of it. So that is why that stayed there on the shelf. And then Jenny and I both thought this was unusual, and we weren't sure about the handle until I think the handle is supposed to be a horseshoe for good luck because you're gambling and the cards and things. And then Jenny said, but that's strange how you would hold the handle. The way you could hook your hand underneath it or hold it like this. It is kind of different. It's a fun mug, though. I left it on the shelf. There's this really pretty baby doll. There's a lot of detail to it. But for the most part, I do leave dolls on the shelf unless they really grab my attention. That was very pretty, but I left that for somebody else. And it was gone the next time I went in, so I knew somebody had snatched it up. I think this might have been a pencil holder. I'm not really sure what it could have been, been used for, but I left that there. And I was seeing if this was more vintage Easter, like the last Easter I had gotten. And then this poor Pyrex bowl had been washed through the dishwasher many, 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 many times. And here is another look at the shelves. And I don't think we see anything else here. Jenny was reading me off what that poem said on that plaque. This was by itself. I think that would have been cuter if it had some more pieces that went with it with the bread. And this was a really sweet looking teapot. It was marked made in China. Very, very ready for Easter with that bunny rabbit and a cute little gnome but it was a lid. Oh gosh, I wonder what the bottom looked like. This sheepdog was a sandy cast dog, so they always have a lot of chipping to the paint. Jenny found this Pokemon in the toy section. This is Oswald. She doesn't really collect this one. She really likes Evie, and so we left that on the shelf after she told me who it was. And now you know who, that it's Oswald. <laughs> Here was another little Rottweiler puppy dog. This was not a sandy cast. It was marked made in China. So I did leave that on the shelf. Only picked up the two things today at Goodwill, but that's sometimes how it is. I thank you so much for your support of my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to leave you with some footage of Barney relaxing on the sofa. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see ya.